What's up Louis? It's guys here. Hope you are doing great. So buying property in South Africa can be a daunting task. Believe me, I know, especially when you are just starting out. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between a beginner investor versus a pro investor. It's important to go and research each and every point of these topics that I'm going to mention so that you can make sure that you understand every part of it. With that said, let's jump straight into it. First of all, beginner investors makes offers on the first property that they see, meaning they are interested in buying properties. They search for it on Property24, they see a property that they like, they go and they make an offer on that property. Pro investors, on the other hand, will look at multiple properties. They will make sure that they understand the area that they're investing in. They will go drive by the property they are interested in and they will make sure that they understand exactly what they are buying. Beginner investors buys properties based on emotions. Investing is an emotional intelligence game and beginner investors love to buy properties that's shiny, aesthetically pleasing and is for example a new development. These are all very pretty properties and beginner investors usually makes the mistake of buying something that looks good. Professional investors on the other hand loves to buy properties based on the numbers. The numbers should excite you and not the way the property looks. Professional investors make sure that they understand each and every calculation they run the numbers and they are confident that it is a good investment for their hard-earned money beginner investors get discouraged very easily once a problem arises or something pops up and maybe the deal falls through Beginner investors really get discouraged quite quickly and maybe they will decide to not invest in property anymore. This can be a very challenging situation and I feel that this is something that a lot of people struggle with but pro investors on the other hand see rejection as a part of the investment game. This is important because nothing goes smoothly all the time. Somewhere something needs to crack and something has to happen that is going to postpone your goals but professional investors understands that this is just part of the game. It's important to never give up and once something bad happens just make sure that you stand up again and move to the next opportunity. This is something that professional investors do very well. Persistence and resilience is key when it comes to successful property investing. Beginner investors buys property in their own personal name. If you've watched this channel, you know this is a big no-no. And personally, this is not something that I would advise anyone to do. Whereas professional investors make sure that they set up the correct structures in the beginning before they get started to make sure that they can increase their odds to build a significant property portfolio. If you are a beginner and you only want to buy one or maybe two properties, by all means go ahead and buy it in your own name. But what we want on this channel is to buy multiple properties, 10, 20, 30 or hopefully 100. And by doing this, we need to focus on setting up the correct structures. This is a very important part and something that a lot of beginner investors miss when starting out. Beginner investors always believe the information that they get from agents without questioning anything. Just remember the information that you receive from agents is just an indication of the numbers and it's never the exact numbers. On the other side, professional investors always make sure that they confirm the exact number to the last cent. If a property's rates and taxes is advertised as 500 Rand, I will always make sure I see proof of the rates and taxes Let's say for example it's 550 Rand and not 500 Rand, that 50 Rand, although small, can make a big difference in your calculations, especially when it comes to monthly cash flow. Professional investors make sure to verify all relevant information 
and it's always a good idea to see proof. Beginner investors will sell their properties after a couple of years if they see they lost money or if the investment is not doing well because majority of beginner investors think that property is a get rich quick investment. Professional investors on the other hand always make sure to keep their investments over the long term and they understand the principle of compound interest. Property is a long term investment game and it's important to be patient when it comes to investing in property. Beginner investors uses up their affordability when it comes to buying a new property and they never have enough reserves. Professional investors on the other hand always have sufficient cash reserves for each and every property that they own. A good rule of thumb is to have 10% of the value of your property saved up for that specific property in case of emergencies. These beginner versus pro tips is something that can help you out especially if you are just starting out. It's important to focus on each and every one of these things that I mentioned Go and research them, read up on them and make sure that you do not make the same mistakes as beginner investors. With that said guys, I hope this video helped you in some way and I'll see you in the next one.